let's dig into some food science with Mr. Curry. Mr. Curry, what did Chef Robert mean when he said the juices would cook the tuna? It's not really cooking, but it does alter the proteins in it, which heat does also when you cook on the stove. So when you take a citric acid like lemon juice or a vinegar and you soak the meat in it, you're actually altering the proteins through a process called denaturation. This is pork. It all came from the same piece of pork. This is what the pork originally looked like, and this would it looked like in vinegar, and this one was in lemon juice. Uh, you can see the difference here, and that's because the proteins have been changed just like when you cook. And that would be an example of a chemical change. But a chemical change is where when you change it, you can't change it back, yeah. right? As opposed to a physical change, where if I took that and I cut it in half, it's still pork. Yeah. I just changed what it looked like, right? Yeah. I don't know about you, but um, I don't think I eat that. I bet Sammy would. I, I would. Yeah, Sa Sam eats anything. <laughs> Heat does something very important when you're cooking, and that's kill the bacterias in the meats. So if you were going to cook this way, you need to be very careful. There's certain ways you should do it, and the chef is an expert at this. But things like tuna, you can marinate it in one of those acids, and it would be safe to eat. So what if we're going to cook tuna this way? Watch our Hawaii show. Bye! Bye. All over the world, every man, woman, boy, and girl, baking, blazing, boiling, using pots, pans, and cups. What's up? It's up. It's up. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, keep looking up. What's up? It's up, it's up.